third grade, hopefully you had a chance to listen to the story about the artist Picasso. We are going to be looking at one of his very famous artworks called Le Coq. He actually painted, um, Le Coq is the French word for rooster, and he actually painted many of them over years, um, and I will post them on your Google Classroom. Um, he painted them in different styles, he painted them from different angles, different colours. We're going to be looking one that he did was a very colourful one and we'll be making something like this. You will need either a white, I'm doing mine on a black paper, if you have a coloured paper or a black paper that's great. If you don't you can do it on white and we can talk about how you can colour the background if you want. You will need coloured oil pastels or crayons and if you have a black crepe that would be great as well. We are going to be making our Picasso Le Coq today or the rooster and we're going to be doing a colourful one like this. I'm using black paper, you can use a coloured paper or a white paper. If you're using the black paper when you make your initial drawing you will want to use a colour that stands out. You can use, I have the Chocorama if you have them that'd be great or crepa or even crayon should work well on a darker paper. So I'm going to start off just by drawing my cockerel or my rooster. I'm going to start near the top. I want to leave room. Let's just take a look back at this. And I want to leave room for this little, I think it's called the comb. I want to leave room for that. So I'm going to come down a little bit and I'm just going to be making a curve like that and I'm going to come right down for his neck okay and then for the beak I'm just making it like a letter C almost it's pointing the wrong way and then so it's almost I guess like a moon shape then I'm going to make the little part that hangs down here I'm not sure of the name of that but it's just like little two little or three little bumps. From under here, I'm making a curve around for his body. I don't want to come down too far because I want to leave room for legs. So let me just put my hand there so that helps me leave room. I'm going to come round and that's his body. For the back part, we're making his body come all the way round to meet. Okay, and we've left enough room for his legs. For the legs, I'm just doing two straight lines down and then three little toes, two straight lines down and three little toes. He's a bit like our um, Thanksgiving turkey, isn't he? Now I'm going to put the co comb on top of his head. And the rooster has that beautiful big tail here. So I'm going to make a curve and I want to fill the whole space here. I'm going to curve it around and then it's like a zigzag line pointing down. One, two, three, and then join it on. Okay, so the fun part about this project is when we're making our when we're colouring it in, we're going to be using two colours for each section to kind of give that textured look. Um, and if you had a chance to look at um, Picasso's example or his actual artwork, you'll see that he made it really colourful. Oh, I forgot one thing. I forgot a little eye here and a little eye here. Okay, so now we're ready and we're going to break this up into sections to help us colour. So any sections you like. I'm just going to make some lines. If I can help me break it up into different sections. So now for each section, you're going to be coloring with one color and then laying another color on top. So I want two colors that are kind of similar. So, or next to each other on the color wheel, right? So I've got pink and red. So you'd say they're like in the same family, right? So I'm going to start with the lighter color and I'm going to color 
this whole section with the lighter of the two colors. When you're coloring with the crepe you really want to press quite hard and I'm going to outline the whole shape and color it in. And then with the darker color, I'm just making these lines that are like the feathers. This time I don't want to color the whole, the whole um, shape. I want to see some of the pink. You could even take your finger and just blend a little of that in just with like one, one pointy finger. Okay, so you'll continue to go with the other sections with colors that are similar. So again, I've got two blues, a light blue and a dark blue, and I'm gonna color one section. I like to outline it first, there we go. Color it all in with my lighter color. And then, just like we did before, I'm going to add my lines on with my darker colour. Some lines are short, some are long. It's to give that kind of look of the feathers on the bird. Okay, so you'll continue to fill up all your spaces until you've coloured them all and it will look something like this. And then the last thing you're going to do just to make it stand out, you're going to be using, I'm using a black crepa, if you have that, that's great, or a black crayon. Don't use Sharpie for this example, because you will wreck your Sharpie, but you're just going to outline, and it just sharpens up your object and makes things stand out. So as close to the line as possible. especially things like the little part underneath the beak and the beak you want to really outline the inside part and the eyes and that way you can see he stands out more if you did not have a colored paper and you did the rooster on a white paper that's fine you might want to color the background if you choose or you can leave it like that. I really love this project and I can't wait to see your Picasso Le Cop.